Hello, everybody. <clears throat> so, with me just, you know, joining BitChute recently, you know, in an effort, you know, to help support the idea of free speech and the First Amendment and anything, since I feel that any asshole should be able to speak their assholish thoughts, regardless if you're on the left or right or in between, you know, I, I like that stuff. I, that, that, that's my thing. And to go with the idea of censorship and freedom of speech, well, I just got a package of a bunch of films, so I thought I'd go in and, you know, do a little unboxing video. I've never really done this before, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> so what's the tie-in? It's that, well, it's mostly uh, video nasties. Not all of them, the majority. So, with that, I will get right into this. Yeah, alright. This is definitely not a video nasty. Although it does sort of kind of fall into it to a degree if you think about it. Because uh, Val Luton kind of produced some pretty ballsy horror films in the time period. And he really did have a tendency to push the Hayes Code to its limit. <laughs> this is really making things yellow. Anyways, so let's dig in. This is from Shout Factory, uh, their Scream division. It's really not a whole lot here. Boom, here we go. Cat people. The curse of the cat people. And when I talk about boundary pushing or uh, the prequel to this, it's a prime example of that. It's all about sex. <laughs> so, I have a commentary, a still gallery. Oh, two commentaries. So, looking forward to this. I am not looking forward to this. <laughs> of the uh, most generally Nazi exploitations just don't go well with me. They're just bad films. This is from Blue Underground, limited edition. Got a nice booklet. With like different like posters and art. Should be like We've got a nice essay. Belongs right in with the Criterion Collection. Alternate cover art. So we've got... I don't know which one I like better. Hmm. They're about the same. I mean, I'm sure you can't really do a whole lot with a Nazi exploitation film. All right. So, moving on. A Section 3 video nasty. Love Camp. I think that was an actual one. Maybe Section 3. I can't recall. I'm not going to find out right now. This is limited edition. I think the biggest thing that differentiates this from a regular set is the slip cover has a tendency to happen a lot where yeah, get the limited edition version and the only thing special is a slip cover vinegar syndrome does that a lot so here it is here's the outside you know commentaries and whatnot Nice dual format. 
Like Love Camp 7. And now, the meat and potatoes. Possession. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Look at this. I haven't had anything this thick since Clamshell DV VHS for Disney. I mean, I'm converting to Blu-ray to save space. Then I get this thing. This is loaded with stuff. 2,000 copies. I got it from Diablo DVD. It was a little bit cheaper than Armando One Vision. Alright. Don't necessarily need this. I almost feel ashamed to open this. Oops. It's nice fuzzy velvety. Let's slide it out. Ah, oh, here we go. Magnetic clasp, I remember. Here we go. Alright, the DVD. Here's the CD of the soundtrack. One of my favorite special features I can get is A, either the source material, like if it's based on a novel, like Criterion has a tendency to do from time to time, or get the soundtrack. Especially if it's from an awesome group like Goblin. Oh yeah. All right, now, how does this thing work? I feel like it should be further back. Slide out. Oh, this is another magnet. Here we go. More than I did clasp. <laughs> One of those things cost 80 bucks. I didn't get it quite that much. I got a little bit cheaper, like I said, from Diablic. I'd imagine it'd be sold out from Amazon. Alright. poster on this side um, here we go Japanese movie fly eye reproduction okay I thought it got a I always thought it came with like a poster poster this is must have been what I was thinking of so there's this I don't know Japanese well enough to really read it. And the 84 page commemorative booklet. Ah, here we go. So, a bunch of essays. Interviews, pretty nice. This, this is how you do a limited edition. I'm looking forward to seeing this film eventually. I'll probably watch it in November. I intend to start watching a bunch of more video nasties because alliteration. US lobby card reproductions and five exclusive art cards and the number of authenticity okay this has a soundtrack chapter listing okay this is just a standard insert that you get often okay mine is 1,947 of 2,000. So, not a whole lot left, apparently. So if you want to get this, you got to get on it now. Okay, these are those. The 
the original cards. Oh, it also has the contents. So yeah, these will be, I think the exclusive art cards looks like. I haven't seen this film yet, so I'm excited. I've seen the other art house video nasty, which came from the sea. That wasn't too bad. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting visual right there. At least good thing I don't have to worry about demonetization. Since I'm not getting any money anyways. Alright, that's that. We'll split these. Yeah, truthfully, the main reason why I wanted to get this is, like I was saying, because of the soundtrack. That's why I got all of a synopsis. Is a, I think it's is it synopsis? I think so. Of a of a lot of their Argento films. As well as Buio or Mega or however you pronounce it, Beyond the Darkness, because soundtrack and Goblin. All right, got lobby cards here. Eight of these. Sure, how well you saw that one. I was looking down at it too, so been doing at this for 12 minutes already. All right, we're starting over. So that's that. I just thought this would be a fun little thing to do. I'll see all of you later. Goodbye.